everyone, my name is Bethany and I'm the training manager here at ESWare and today I'm going to show you how to use email tracking. Email tracking allows you to get real-time notifications for every email open, link click, and attachment view, view your progress in your personal and team tracking report, and plan your next move based on your recipient's engagement. To get started with Yesware's email tracking, the very first thing that you'll want to do is make sure that it's set up correctly. And to do that, you just want to click on new email and open up a compose window and click on email settings. From here, just make sure that track email opens is toggled on and then you're all set to begin using Yesware's email tracking. And to track an email to your recipients, you just need to make sure that you're clicking the send with Yesware button either up here at the top of the Outlook ribbon or down here at the bottom of the email settings. Either one will work. The only thing that won't work is clicking the regular send button. If you click the send button, this is not going to be a tracked email. You must hit the send with Yesware button. And one way to make it a little bit easier to remember to do that is actually pinning this sidebar here so that every time you open up a compose window, the email settings will be here. So it'll be a lot easier to remember to hit the send with Yesware button. Now to send a tracked link, just click this add tracked link button here and figure out how you want to incorporate this link within your message. So you could say something like check out our and in the text to display, put website. So that's the word we'll hyperlink. And then where do you want to send your recipient? So what website? And then title is referring to when your recipient hovers over, clicks on your link, when it pops out that little description, what do you want that to read? And then we'll click insert link. And now we have added a tracked link. As a best practice, in the text display, I always recommend doing a descriptive hyperlink. So what I mean by that is just writing out a word versus writing out the full URL. And this is so that you can avoid getting sent to spam. Now, once you're ready to send your email, again, just make sure that you're hitting the send with Yesware button. Either one of these buttons will work. And when you click send with Yesware, we'll go ahead and send that out as a tracked email. Now you might notice that it lingers on your screen for a little bit or lives in your drafts folder for a few seconds, but not to worry. We're just syncing up with Microsoft server so that those go out. So don't worry if it does live there for a little bit. Now, once you start sending out your tracked emails and tracked links, this events feed here is going to show you as those emails are opened or links are clicked upon. So you'll get to see when they were opened, who did the opening, which email was opened, what device, so cell phone versus computer, you should get a little icon there so that you can get a sense of who is engaging with the content that you are sending to them. If you'd like to turn on pop-up notifications, this little drop down here, go to all events pop out, and this is going to open up a browser window. And if you allow for browser notifications and leave this open in the background, we'll be able to give you pop-up notifications in real time as people are opening your emails. To see an individual email's tracking history, you can always go to your sent items and find the email that you want to see the tracking information for. And instead of going to all events, click on this message tab, and this is going to show you the tracking information for that individual message. Again, so you can use that to plan your follow-ups.